Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaquim. And today I'm just going to talk about some spiritual doors that you got to keep closed if you don't want any demons infiltrating your life. You know, and we're going to just hop right into it. Number one is pornography. Yes, pornography. Once you indulge in that act, once you even go on the websites, you are given access to demons in your home. Right then and there. Once you even open it. Once you search it up, open it, look at the screen. Once it's on your phone, tablet, TV, wherever you're doing it. Demons have just got access to your house, to your soul, to your spirit. And especially if you are masturbating, Demons are definitely inside your home. They definitely are attached to you. Once you release off of that, demons are, you just have let a demon, the incubus or succubus spirit, get attached to your vessel. And now, the only way to be delivered from it is if you deny the flesh, fast and pray, and ask God to deliver you from it. And the longer you stay, in that sin, the harder, and I mean the harder is going to be to get free from it. And say God already delivered you from that sin. And say you went back a year later, two years later. See, that's why I said time don't matter. Time don't matter. It don't matter. With God, for God don't dwell in the realm of time anyways. No spiritual matters, they are, their time is not involved in spiritual matters, right? It's when you get into the spirit and you handle that demon that is infiltrating your life. You're facing it head on. It got nothing to do with time. That's why people can go so long without being healed. They think time is going to heal that. No, it's a spiritual thing. That you have to go into the spirit if you want to be set free from that bondage of that demon that is tormenting you. Right? So that's number one. Pornography. Number two is astrology and horoscopes. All those things is just witchcraft. They're witchcraft. There's, they're just fake deities. They're false gods. It's something that's not even true. I remember people trying to get me when I was younger into that stuff. And I always just think like, it got little truths in it, but it wasn't just, it wasn't hitting for me, you know? It wasn't just, it wasn't for me. I was like, but they was trying to push so hard about that. They was just pushing so hard, all those things. And I was just like, it's not for me, man. I'm like, you know, y'all can just keep doing what y'all doing. But I found myself being, a, by being in that environment, starting to, you know, listen to them more and start entertaining those things a little bit. I started, I downloaded an app. But I was looking at it every day, but I was looking at it here and there. And that, then I started, like, entertaining a little bit. I'm like, hmm, okay, that's cool. That's true. That's not true. That's true. That's not true. But then when I found God that same year, found Jesus, all that stuff was just, you know, foolish. And I never even co-signed with that. I always believed in God. I always been a man of God. I just never knew all the details about Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit that I do now. And number three is sage. Do not be burning no sage in your home. Sage lets demons come into your household. You burn sage, that's like a smoke that allow demons to come into your household. And it depends where you get that sage from. There are witches and warlocks that put spells on that sage to allow demons to come into your household. This is deep, it's spiritual. You know, now, now you don't know why your kid's acting up. Now you don't know why you all of a sudden depressed and have anxiety and have a strong, fearful heart. But you just lit some sage in your house and thought that was gonna make it better. Now everything's worse. Now weird stuff happened to you, you can't sleep. Now you, you hear noises, right? You, things shaking around your house. But this is real. You're going to start getting spiritual and getting your life right with Jesus. So do not be burning any sage in your house, right? Number four is just, you know, witchcraft. 
and spells. You know, people out here are putting witchcraft and spells on people. You know, you gotta be aware that we don't battle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness, powers, principalities, rulers of darkness and high places. People who sit around and cast spells all day, every day, right? And we are children of the light. You are God's chosen. You are being called by God. For being called and chosen are two different things, but you are still a child of God. You got to make sure you have your armor on. You got to make sure you be in prayer. Make sure you are seeking the answers. For that, what prayer is, is to seek answers if you are confused. Let God lead you. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Or if you don't have the Holy Spirit, ask God for the Holy Spirit. And just know, once you get the Holy Spirit, your life will forever be different, right? And just know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, right? Just keep on praying. It's better to suffer for well-doing than to suffer for evil-doing. You don't want to be stuck in that same cycle over and over and over again. Because that's what all that is, you know? And it won't benefit you none. All that lust, you know, the weed, the fornication, the alcohol, the pills, whatever thing you, you battle with, you know, all of it is just taken away from you because the devil's just, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He walks around like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour, right? And even, you know, going to people trying to get answers, you know, like a uh, a witch. You letting yourself open to demons there because you looking for answers from someone who has demons. They could send, the demons can inform them about something that is going on with you to make you open up your heart to them. And now all of a sudden you get attacked. But Jesus, he stops all that. Jesus conquered the world. He has dominion over all Angels, demons, hell, the world, principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness. Just call on the name of Jesus in spirit and in truth and he will set you free. And these are just some of the reasons that you got to watch out for in this journey. To protect your spirit from attacks and from warfare. Just remember, we don't battle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness principalities, powers, and rules of darkness in high places. Remember, always stay spiritually minded and spiritually grounded. God bless you.